Hi everyone, I am Sushma, working as assistant professor in the department of ECE in IARE. Today we are going to discuss about the basic operations on discrete signals. So the basic signal operations categorized into two types, whether they are depending on the dependent variable or independent variable representing the signals. So there are two variable parameters in general. First one is amplitude and second one is type. Here the amplitude will be the dependent variable whereas time is the independent variable. Any signal operation depends on either dependent variable or independent variable. Here the basic operations are depending on the amplitude as well as type. Here basic signal operations performed on dependent variable in this transformation only the quadrature axis values are modified that is magnitude of the signal changes with no effects on the horizontal axis values or periodicity of signal. So here only the amplitude values will be changed and it will not change the periodicity of the signal. So the following operations can be performed with respect to amplitude or amplitude scaling and addition of signals, subtraction of signals, multiplication of signals. First of all we are going to discuss about the amplitude scaling. So here in amplitude scaling is very basic operation performed on signals to vary its strength. So, it can be mathematically represented as y of n is equal c of c into x of n. So, c is a constant value. It may, it may be 1 to in any number. Here, for example, I am considering the signal x of n. See here, this is the signal x of n. n is the sample number and x of n denotes the signal. So, here yet n is equal minus 1, the amplitude value will be 2. And n is equal 0, the amplitude value is 1. n is equal 1, the amplitude value is 2. Here, if we sample this x of n amplitude scaling, so y of n I am considering as 2 into x of n. So here, the every sample amplitude will be multiplied by 2. So 2 into 2 into 2. The yet n is equal minus 1, the amplitude will become 2 into 2, this is 4. And at n is equal 0, 1 into 2. So, the amplitude is 2. At n is equal 1, the amplitude for x of n is 2. So, it is multiplied by 2. Then it is become 4. So, here in the amplitude scaling, the only amplitude of the signal will be changed. It will not affect any periodicity of the signal. So, another operation on uh, dependent variable are addition of signal. So, if we consider two signals, x1 of n and x2 of n. If you add both signals x1 of n, n and x2 of n. So, for example, I am taking x1 of n is one signal and another signal is x2 of n. If we add these two signals, we are getting y of n. Here only the amplitudes of the two signals at the corresponding sample values will be added and it will not affect any uh, y axis values. Okay, only it will change the amplitude of the signal. So, for example, I am taking x1, x1 of n is equal, the sample values are 1, 3, 4, 5. Yet, for example, I am considering yet n is equal 0, the sample value amplitude, magnitude of x of n is 1, yet 1, the amplitude is 3, yet sample value n is equal to, it is 4, and a 3 it is 2, 4 it is the magnitude is 5. So this is x1 of n. We are adding this x1 of n with the x2 of n sample value. So here at x2 of n, I am taking the sample values are 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So I am considering it n is equal 0, the magnitude is 4 and at n is equal 1, the magnitude is 3. At n is equal 2, the magnitude is 1. And at n is equal 3, the magnitude is 
1 and n is equal to 4, it is 0. So, if we add these two signals x1 of n and x2 of n, we are getting y of n, only it will add the magnitudes of the sample. Say at n is equal to 0, I have 1 per x1 of n, at n is equal to we have the sample value is 4. These two will be added, 1 and 4 will be added and the at n is equal to 0, we are getting the sample value is 4 for y of n. And for n is equal 1, we have 3 for x1 of n. And for n is equal 1, we have 3 for x2 of n. If we add these two sample values, 3 plus 3, we are going to get the sample value 6. So the sample value for n is equal 1 of y of n is 6. So the corresponding values we are uh, we uh, we have to add like uh, for corresponding sample number. So for n is equal to 0, 1 plus 4, and for n is equal to 3 plus 3, and for n is equal to 2, we are going to get 4 plus 2, and for n is equal to 3, we are going to get 2 plus 1, and for n is equal to 3, 5 plus 0. The corresponding output is 5, 6635. So, only the amplitudes of both signals x1 of n and x2 of n will be added and we are going to get y of n. It will not change any periodicity or any time shifting operations in the addition of two signals. So only amplitudes, magnitudes of the signals will be going to change. I'll, same as subtraction of signals also here. For subtraction of two signals is the difference of their corresponding magnitudes. So, that is denoted by if we want to Take the subtract of uh, subtraction of two signals x1 of n, x2 of n. This, this is denoted by y of n is equal x1 of n minus x2 of n. So here x1 of n is I am taking as sample values is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For x2 of n, the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here the subtraction, the subtraction of two signals will be the subtraction of corresponding magnitudes of the sample number. So, for n is equal to 0, I am taking it is for x of n is 5, for x to of n it is 1. So, the y of n is will become 5 minus 1 and for n is equal to 1, it is 6 minus 2, 7 corresponding magnitudes will be uh, taken, uh, the difference will be taken, the corresponding output is the difference of the magnitudes of the x1 of n and x2 of n. So, multiplication of signals, here is the multiplication of two signals, here we have to multiply the corresponding magnitudes here for x of n and x2 of n. So, here the multiplication I am taking here x1 of uh, the sample values are 1, 3, 4, 2, 5 and x2 of n is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. n is equal 0, 1, 2, for n is equal 3, n is equal 4 y axis denote this is x1 of n the magnitude for n is equal to 0 it is 1 the graphical representation it is 3 for n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 2 it is 4 and for n is equal to 3 it is 2 for n is equal to 4 it is 5 so this is x1 of n signal and x2 of n signal will be here for n is equal to 0, it is 4, the magnitude is 4, for n is equal to 1, it is 3, for n is equal to 2, it is 2, for n is equal to 3, it is 1, for n is equal to 4, it is 0. So here, if you multiply this x1 of n and x2 of n, the corresponding magnitudes of x1 of n and x2 of n of corresponding sample numbers will be multiplied. So the y of n will be, so for n is equal to 0, for x1 of n is, it, the magnitude is 1 and x2 of n it is 4. So 1 into 4, for n is equal to 0, we are going to get the magnitude is 4. For n is equal to 1, x1 of n magnitude is 3 and for x2 of n it is 3, so 3 into 3 we are going to get the magnitude is 9 and 4 into 2 it is 8.
for n is equal 3, the 2 into 1 we are going to get it is 2 and 5 into 0 we are going to get it is 0. So, the corresponding magnitudes are, will be multiplied for the corresponding sample numbers in the multiplication of signals. So, here for addition, addition of the signals, for addition of signals will be used for audio mixer, audio mixer and scaling, amplitude scaling will be used for electronic amplifiers. For example, multiplication it will be used in the multiplication will be used in modulators. So, these are the applications of these uh, basic operations of the dependent variables. So, if we go for independent variable, the basic signal operations performed on the independent variable here only the periodicity of the signal is varied by modifying the horizontal axis values and here the magnitude will not be changed only the periodicity of the signal either it will shift the left shift or right shift or it will be um, for uh, time reversal of the signal only the horizontal axis value the periodicity of the signal is varied and the magnitude or amplitude of the signals remains constant. So, the basic operations can be performed with respect to time that is independent variables are time shifting signal, reflection uh, otherwise we will call reversal or folding. Folding of signal and time scaling of signal. First of all, we are going to discuss about the time shifting of the signal. Here, the time shifting operation results in a positive or negative shift of the signal along its time axis. Either it will be shifted to the left shift or it will be, the samples will be shifted to the right shift. So, it will be positive or negative shift of the signal along its the time axis. This means that the time shifting operation results in the change of just positioning of the signal without affecting its amplitude value. So, the if we consider the x axis and y axis of the signal, the amplitudes will be remain constant in the time shifting operation. Only the signal, whatever the signal will be shifted either to the left side or to the right side. Uh, that is nothing but positive or negative shifting of the signal along its time axis. So, here we have two types of shifting. After shifting, we will get the delayed signal, either delayed signal or advanced signal. If the value of, so here, I'm after, for, we are, I am taking the input as x of n. After shifting the signal with the constant value n naught that is denoted by x of n minus n naught. So, the time shifting of the signal will be denoted by y of n is equal x of n minus n naught. So, if, if n naught is positive value, if n naught is positive value, then the shift of the signal is to the right side of the original signal. So, that is called delayed version or delay, delayed signal of original signal. So, if n naught is positive, this uh, shifting constant n naught value is positive, then that signal will be shifted to the right side. If the n naught is positive, then the shift of the signal is to the right side and then the signal is called delayed signal of the original signal. If the n naught is negative, n naught value is negative, then the signal will be shifted to the left side and this is the advanced version of our time shifting of the original signal. So, here we have two types of uh, shifting, delayed or advanced. Here, if that depends on the n naught value. If n naught is positive, then we will get the delayed signal. If n naught is negative, we will get the advanced signal. For example, if we consider here, 
first of all we are considering x of n is equal x of n minus n naught. So here I am taking one example x of n. Here x of n is from 0 to 6 the amplitude values we are having here suppose 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and 5th and 6th samples are 0. So here x of n we are taking if we want to shift that signal we to the left side. So if you want y of n is equal, here the n naught value is 2, positive value. So I am getting x of n minus 2. If n naught is positive value, then we are going to get the delayed signal of original signal. That is nothing but the signal, whatever the signal is there, that will be shifted by the n naught time units to the left side. So, n at c here it is 2. So, the, here the signal is starting from n is equal 0. That is will be shifted to the 2 time units. 2 time units to the left right side. So, here it is starting marginal signal is starting at n is equal 0. For x of n minus 2, the signal is starting from the n is equal 2. So, this is delayed version of the original signal. So, it is uh, the original signal is shifted to the left side by the n naught unit. So, here n naught is 2. So, 2 units will be shifted to the left side. Where that's why we are getting a delayed version of the original signal. So, if n naught is minus 2, n naught is negative value, then we are going to get the advanced version of the signal. That is nothing but x x y of n is equal x of n minus of minus 2 that is x of n plus 2 that is denoted by x of n plus 2. So, here the sig whatever the original signal that will be shifted to the left side by 2 units then we are going to get the advanced version of the signal. So, here n is equal 0 we are getting 1. So, that n is equal 0 here, it will be shifted to the 2 times to the left. So, it will be started from the n is equal minus 2. So, from n is equal minus 2, we are getting sample value amplitude is 1. For n is equal minus 1, this will be shifted to the 2 units. So, it, you are going to get the value 2 here. So, it will be shifted to the left side by the 2 units. Then, we are going to get the advanced version of the signal. If we consider by the sample value, suppose I have x of n is equal 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. Arrow mark indicates the sample value at n is equal 0. If I want to get n is n minus 1, so this arrow mark will be shifted to the right side by the 1 unit. So, 1, 2, 1. 3, 1. So, this for n is equal minus 1, 1 is positive value, n naught is positive value. So, it the signal will be shifted to the right side. We are going to get the delayed version. So, the arrow mark will be at the 3. So, here for n is equal 0, the sample value, we are amplitude value, we are going to get the 3. For example, for x is equal n plus 1, that will be, we can write this as n minus of minus 1. So, this is the negative value. So, the arrow mark will be, the samples will be shifted to the right side. So, 1, 2, 1, 3, comma 1. So, for virginal signal, for n is equal 0, we have 1. So, this will be shifted to the left side by 1 unit. So, for n is equal 0, we are going to get 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. So, these are, this is the delayed signal. This is the advanced signal. Time scaling of the signal. Here, the process of multiplying a constant to the time axis of a signal is known as time scaling of the signal. Here only the, uh, the, the time scaling will be either it will be um, only the amplitudes will not be changed here. Only the time uh, um, it will be multiplied by a constant here. The time scaling of a signal may be time compression or time expansion depending on the value of a constant or scaling factor here. 
So for example, I am taking x of n. I am multiplying the time constant by k units. Here k is some constant. That is, I am getting the output after scaling. I am getting output is y of n. So here the time scaling factor k. So here the depending on the k value, it will be either time compression or time expansion. If k is greater than 1, for example, if it is k is greater than 1 means x of 2n, 3n, 4n. So if n is greater than 1, then the signal becomes narrow, that is time compressor signal or we can call that as decimation. We can call as, that is decimation. If k is greater than 1, we are going to compress the signal that is called as decimation. If it is k is between 0 to 1, then the signal becomes wider, then it is time expansion signal or we can call this as interpolation signal. So, here don't confuse with uh, amplitude scaling and time scaling. Amplitude scaling is de denoted by y of n is equal 2 into x of n. This is amplitude scaling. Whereas y of n is equal to x of 2n. This is time scaling. In amplitude scaling, only the amplitude of the signal will be varied. In uh, time scaling, the amplitude will be constant. Either the signal will become expanded or compressed in the time scaling of signal. For example, I am taking x of n signal. This is the example here. From minus 3 to 3, I am taking sample values here x of n. x of 2n. So, here x of 2n is k is constant k is equal to 2 which is greater than 1. Okay, if k is greater than 1, the signal becomes narrower. How we are going to narrow the signal means here x of 2 in the decimation factor will become 2. So, every second sample will be taken as output. So, for n is equal 0, we have 1. For n is equal 2, the sample will come to the output and the and middle sample will be discarded and the n is equal to 2 sample will comes to the output. Like that every second sample will be comes to the output and the number of samples will be re reduced here. So, the uh, signal becomes narrower that is called decimation. Here the signal rate will be decreased because the number of samples will be reduced from the original signal. This is decimation. Whereas, if we consider x of n by 2, so here k is equal 1 by 2 which is less than 1, so it, it will become, comes under the interpolation, the time expansion signal we are going to get for x of n by 2. So here, for x of n by 2, every, here we, are, we have two values, so between every two samples, we have to add the 2 minus 1 zeros between the every 2 samples. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, every 2 samples of the original signal, we have, we are going to add the 0 value, 0 sample value. So, the, the number of samples will be expanded in the interpolation signal. So, this is another example for the time compression and time expansion signal. This is the Original signal for k is equal to, we are going to get the time compression signal by decimation process. Time compression signals, this is called decimation. Here we are going to discard middle samples and only every second sample will be going to come to the output. So, the number of samples will be reduced in the time compression signal. So, the signal rate will be decreased here. For n by 2, it will be expansion signal. So, n by 2 is k is equal 1 by 2 which is less than 1. So, here for every 2 samples, the 
zero is sample. The magnitude of this sample is zero. This will be added between two samples and the number of samples will be increased from the original signal. So, this is time expansion signal. In the interpolation, in interpolation, these will be, these samples will be adjusted, the magnitudes will be adjusted in the yeah, interpolation to avoid the extra images at the spectrum. So, time reversal of the signal. So, if the independent variable n, so in x, x axis we have independent variable n, y axis we have the magnitude of the signal. So, here the independent variable n is replaced by minus n. So, this operation is known as time reversal uh, of the signal and so we can call this as folding or reflection of the signal also. Here, oh, this can be achieved by taking the mirror image of the original signal by um, rotating the x of n by 180 degrees. So, any here, we are just we are going, suppose we have the original signal 1, 2, 1, 1, at n is equal 0, we, are going, uh, we have magnitude 1, at n is equal 1, we have magnitude 1, 2, we have magnitude 1. So, just by flipping or folding the original image, we are going to get the time reversal of signal. That is, we have to get the x of minus n. Just for n is equal 0, this is 2 only. For n is equal minus 1, n is here 1, that will, the, for x of minus 1, that will be shifted, just to mirror image of the one. So, 1, for n is equal minus 2, you have 1. So, this, this is the x of minus n just by rotating x of n by 180 degrees, we are going to get the time reversal of the signal or folding or reflection of the signal. So, this is the original signal x of n. After folding the signal, just the mirror image of the signal you are going to get here. So, this is x of minus n, this is x of n. So, whatever this sample value at x of n is equal 1, in mirror image, you are going to that at n is equal to minus 7. For n is equal to whatever the sample value you have, that will be, you will get in the mirror image at n is equal to minus 2. Just n e value will be, the magnitude of the n values will be replaced by at the negative values of the n. So, here we discuss the amplitude scaling, addition, multiplication, subtraction of uh, which are uh, depend uh, and the dependent variable and for independent variable we uh, discussed about the time shifting, time scaling, time reversal. Just we will take one example and we will discuss what are the operations we have. Suppose I am taking x of n here. This is for n is equal 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, This is the original signal x of n. So, first we will discuss amplitude scaling. First one, amplitude scaling. So, for example, I want to do x of 2 into x of n. So, amplitude scaling will be denoted by y of n is equal. Here, I am taking 2 into x of n. So, for amplitude scaling, what we have to do? Only the amplitudes will be multiplied by the constant 2. So, here for n is equal 0, here we have magnitude 4, that will be multiplied, 4 will be multiplied by the 2, you are going to get the amplitude is 8. Here 3 into 2, 6, for n is equal to, for original signal we have 2, that will be multiplied by 2, then we are going to get 4, for sample value n is equal 3. Magnitude is 1, so 1 into 2, 2, 4, 1 into 2, 2. So, this is y of n signal, y of n is equal, amplitude scaling is 2 into x of n here. Only the amplitude of the signal will be changed and 
the periodicity of signal will not be changed in the amplitude scaling. For time shifting operation for x of n minus 2, I want to do so y of n is equal x of n minus 2. So here x of n minus 2, 2 is positive value. So we are going to get the delayed version of the original signal. So the uh, original signal will be shifted to the left side, right side by the two uh, units. So here 0, 1, 4, 5. So whatever the original signal that will be that will be shifted to the right side by two time units, two units. So here the original signal is starting at the n is equal 0, then it will be started at the n is equal 2. So n is equal 0, we have 4 here, but for x of minus 1, for n is equal to, we will get the 4, 3, 2, 1, one. So, this is y of n, this is delayed for signal of original signal. Here for x of minus 2, it will be shifted to the right side by the 2 units. The Whatever the original signal, that will be shifted to the right side by the 2 units. For x of n plus 2, for x of n plus 2, here for x of n plus 2, this we can write as x of n minus of minus 2 which is negative value minus 2 is negative value then the virginal signal whatever the virginal signal will be shifted to the left side it will be shifted to the left side by the two time units so here for n is equal 0 it is started the magnitude is 4 so for x of n plus 2 it will be shifted to the left side by two time units. So, it will be started at minus 2. So, for minus 2, n is equal minus 2, you are going to get the magnitude 4, minus 1, 3, 0, 2, 1, for n is equal 1, it is 1, it is 2. So, it is shifted to the left side by two time units, then it is the advanced version of the signal. This is advanced signal where it will be shifted to the left side by two time units. So, but we have x of minus n which is just time reversal of signal. Just by, by it is a mirror image of the virginal signal. So, it is for n is equal 0 to 5 we have the sample, 4 we have the samples. Just it is the mirror image of the signal. So, the x of minus n for n is equal 0. It is 4. For n is equal minus 1, we have 3. So, for n is equal minus 1, it is 3. For n is equal 2, for original signal, we have 2. For n is equal minus 2, here we will get the 2. For minus 3, 1. And minus 4, 1. Just n is replaced by, by the minus n here. So, the just it is the folding of the virginal signal. As well as we have another examples after reversal, time reversal of the signal, if we want to shift the signal, what are the uh, operations we are going to get here? X of, for example, X of a minus a minus 3. I want to perform X of minus a minus 3. After time reversal, if you want to do uh, shift the signal for x of minus n minus 3, here this will be shifted to the right side, left side by 3 time units. For x of minus n plus 3, it will be shifted to the right side by 3 time units. Don't confuse here. Here for x of n minus 2, we are shifting the signal to the left. But 
for uh, x of minus n minus 3, we have to shift the signal to the left side here. Okay, here we are going to get the advanced version here, uh, for x of minus n minus 3. And for x of minus n plus 3, we are going to get the delayed version. So, here preceding rule for time reversal and time shifting here. It is important to note that the operation of holding and time delaying signal are not commutative. So, here for example, I am taking x of n I am taking here. First, I want to do shifting operation by k units. This will be denoted as x of n minus k. Then I want to fold this signal folding operation or we can call this as reversal operation of the signal. Then we are going to get the x of minus of minus n minus k. Just n is replaced by the minus n here. So x of minus n minus k. For example, I x of n first I want to fold the signal folding operation. Then this is denoted by x of minus n. Then shifting by shifting by k units. Then it will be denoted as x of minus n plus k. Both are not equal. So x of minus n minus k is not equal to x of minus n plus k. So it is important to note that the operation of folding and time delaying of a signal are not commutative signal. So for here these are the preceding rules for the time reversal and time shifting here. First order of the shifting and folding operations we are going to discuss. First if I want to shift x of n, x of n signal, we am taking original signal. I want to fold that signal. After folding we are going to get the mirror image or time reversal signal that is x of minus n. Okay, x of n after folding we are getting x of minus n. In folding just n is replaced by minus n. So then we are going to get the shifting operation. So x of minus of n minus p that is x of n minus n plus p. Next I want to shift the signal first of all shifting operation then that is either plus p then i want to do folding operation that will be denoted by x of minus n plus p just here in folding n is replaced by minus n here for example x of n is first going to shift here x of, uh, fold here x of minus n we are going to get then we are going to shift to the left side of the mirror image that is x of minus of n plus p that is x of minus n minus p. If we want to shift the signal to the right side then that is n that denoted by x of minus n then we are going to do the operation folding operation then it is denoted by x of just n is replaced here x of n minus n minus p. So these are the different shifting and folding operations so we are getting different operations here. So here if we want if we want to do folding and shift it to the right and shift to the left and folding these both operations you will get the same signal. For folding of the signal then you are going to shift to the left and either shift to the uh, right side and then if you want to fold these two operation will get the same answer. So here just remember for x of n minus k the original signal will be shifted to the right side right side by k units k time units if x of n plus k it, it will be shifted to the left side by k units for x of minus n you will get the rever uh, reversal of the signal minus n minus k you will you have to shift the signal to the left side 
by k units for x of minus n plus k. We should save the signal to the right side. If you remember these four operations, it will be very easy to do the problems. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.